To a new place. I know this town like the back of my hand. Let me show you around. I'm a super good tour guide. I know lots of stuff about Sandrock. Yeah, cool. The Jasmine Co. official Sandrock tour is now beginning. Our first stop will be the Wandering Y Yakmel Ranch. Notice Mr. Cooper, Mrs. Mabel, and Elsie's house. They have a really big ranch. That means they get milk for everyone. Maybe some other stuff, too. Oh, you can see the Yakmel over there. I like to say hi to them every day. Sometimes they even say hi back. But it sounds like... Moo! <laughs> I think they sell stuff that you can use to take care of animals here. That might be useful for you, huh? On to the next stop. Please keep your hands and feet inside the imaginary vehicle. Ta-da! This is Martle's Oasis. Miss Martle was the first mayor of Sandrock and she found this oasis a long time ago. We all drink this water, so don't step in it. In the middle, you can of course see a statue of Mr. Peach. One day I hope I can invent something really cool like Peach did. The big water tower over there is where we keep extra water. Mr. Burgess takes care of it, and you can get some from him if you give him some money. Oh, hey, that reminds me. Do you know what the official town slogan is? Minister Matilda came up with it, and now everybody says it all the time. Wow, yeah, that's right. You got it. You must have done your homework. I give you a sticker, but I don't have any. Conserve water. That's our slogan. If we run out, um, I guess we have to go live somewhere else. So we should say our slogan to help a lot of people remember. This concludes the Mardo's Oasis part of our tour. For our next stop, we will be visiting Fabulous City Hall. The first thing you will notice about City Hall is that it's very big. Grown-ups often go into this building and talk a lot. My mom works here when she isn't going out into the desert. Aunt Heidi also works next door. She builds bridges and upgrades houses and stuff. Say, isn't that the same job as you? What's the difference? Oh, by the way, from the station to here is the main street of Sandrock. RVO store, Grandma Vivi's clothes shop, Mr. Owen's saloon, um, Mr. Popo's parlor. Yeah, they're all on this street, so you can definitely go shopping here when you have some time. Moving right along. For the next stop on our tour, please bring your attention right over there, where you'll see the beautiful Church of the Light Temple. Most of us come here every Sunday to sing and listen to Minister Matilda tell us not to do bad stuff. My favorite songs are ones about Peach. You should come next time. 
And this is the last stop on the tour! If you follow the path on the right, you'll find the Research Center and the Golden Goose. Um, I think that's it. This place is pretty big. You should look around when you have some downtime. This concludes the very special Jasmine Co. Tour. That's enough walking for today. So, what do you think of your new home? Yeah, I think so too. A lot of people don't like this place so much. But you do, so I think that means we can be good friends. Anyway, I'm sure you have lots of things to build. As for me, I need to go to Aunt Katori's Game Center for business. Come join me if you get time. Hmm. You know, I was just thinking how it's so hard being so strong and handsome. It's like I've been bestowed with so many gifts. Sometimes I wish other people could know what it's like. Bye. A new builder? Why wasn't I informed of this? A data disk? Allow me to explain. Data disks are a type of storage medium made of multiple layers of polycarbonate. While many of them don't contain anything useful, some have curves of data on how the old world built their machines and structures. Now granted, we're not yet technically proficient enough to recreate exact replicas of these relics, but with a builder's help, we can get pretty close. Data disks help me create diagrams for new machines, which you can construct on your assembly station. I keep a collection of diagrams, plus potential future plans, with me at all times. So if you need to build something that's not in your handbook, talk to me. Bring me data disks, and I'll give you new diagrams. Simple enough. Come here when you have more data disks. Um, if you don't have business with me, I'll be going. Thank you. 
<gasps> Hello, young one. You are no doubt the new builder, yes? I'm Mort, and I've been here for, shall we say, quite some time. <laughs> I'm the caretaker of Sandrock Cemetery. Do feel free to stop by and share with me your musings. I have a lot of time, and I think you'll find me to be a good listener. Yeah. Take her easy. We've met, but I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Jensen, the conductor of the Sandrock train station. Uh, nice to have you in Sandrock. Mm-hmm. Catch you later.
you oh <laughs> I must have dozed off I thought you were my blathering old man Cooper hey you're tougher than you look if not for you that whopper might have pulled me in say you ever done much sand fishing yourself giving it your all struggling against nature never know for sure who'll come out on top in case you hadn't figured it out that's kind of my thing you're a city slicker ain't ya well don't you be afraid of the great outdoors now you hear that's a whole desert out there just waiting to be explored, and all kinds of sandfish just waiting to be caught. Here's some stuff that'll get you started. Don't worry about hitting me back. I got plenty more where this came from. Well, I'd better get gone and find out what happened to my old man before he finds me and talks my dang ear off. So long! Shh! Don't make a sound. Was that the call of the extremely rare, bottle-nosed, prickle-toed mirror dog? Oop, wait, no. Tumbleweed. False alarm. Sorry about that. Take her easy.
no need for introductions. I know who you are. I'm Pastor Miguel. I guess you could say I'm the brains behind this little operation. <clears throat> I trust you'll bring Telesis to Sandrock and beyond. So, is Sandrock what you expected? Before I came here from Mady, I also had visions of grandeur. But the situation on the ground is what it is. We've just got to squeeze water out of the sand here, so to speak. Bye. Well, look at you, a new builder in town. Always glad to see a new face. Here now, sugar, take this scarf. It gets chilly here at night. Courtesy of Taylor Maid. Don't be a stranger, you hear? Uh huh. See ya. Ah, you're a new builder. Nice to meet you. I'm Katori. I think we'll be working together a lot in the future. I'm trying to turn Sandrock back into the jewel of the desert with my Golden Goose Entertainment Extravaganza Complex. Eh, that's a mouthful. It needs better phrasing. Anyway, even if you have no idea what I'm talking about, drop by and have some fun. Here, a few tokens to get you started. What's your favorite game over at the Golden Goose? Me? I couldn't choose. They're all like my children. So long, partner. Howdy. My grand Vivi is kind of a grandma to everyone in town. Really, the only person she gives a hard time is my pa. I guess she still feels the need to mother him, even after all these years. See ya! Hey there. To stay safe here, do two things. Practice combat, and be vigilant of danger. See ya. Travelers here always ask which is drier in climate, sand rock or barna rock? I'd say it's sand rock. <laughs> We've got to be the best at something, I figure. So long, partner. <laughs> See ya. Why are you still here? Were you expecting a handout? Now listen here. When I was your age, I was taking care of 15 yakmo. 45 chickens, 12 brothers and sisters, and nobody, not once, not never, I said nobody, ever gave me nothing for free. So I ask myself now, what in the Sam heck would I be doing if I... Howdy. Hmm. Be seeing ya.
Simmer down now, y'all. <clears throat> As many of y'all know, our resident builder, Mason, who has been a hard-working member of our community for many years, will be leaving our flock to seek, shall we say, greener pastures. But today's meeting is not about goodbyes. There'll be plenty of time for that at Mason's retirement party. No, today is a celebration of hellos. Let's give it up for our new builders. Thanks everyone. Very excited to be starting here. I'm going to do my very best to bring Telesis to Sandrock. Care to say a few words? Well said, builder. Couldn't have put it better myself. Everyone, let's be patient with our new builders while they learn the ropes. And builders, don't hesitate to ask any of us for help. We won't be hesitating in putting you all to work. One more time, a big sand rock welcome for our new builders. We have some omelets courtesy of none other than our very own Owen. Get them while they're still hot. Meeting adjourned. Oh, and remember, conserve water. Conserve water. Hmm. Hey, how's it going on your end? My crane lift is almost done. Things have been easier since I built a furnace. Say, has Yen been bugging you like he's been bugging me? He came to check on my progress like ten times already. See ya! Hey! Mm -hmm. Take her easy. Hello! Hmm. Take it easy. Hey! Mm. Catch you later. Hey there! <laughs> so long, partner. I might yell at you some more. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Now, where you get off going around asking for handouts? Good, honest, hard-working people like yours truly are out in the fields, breaking their backs, sweating their behinds off. Most people aren't used to the smell of Yakmel milk when they first get to Sandrock. Not me, though. I drink a glass every morning. See ya! Howdy. Mm-hmm. So long, partner. Howdy. Uh-huh. All right, catch you next time. Yeah. 
Howdy. Hmm. Be seeing you.
Hello, Builder. So nice to see you again. As per the Minister's instructions, I have come with a gift. Water, to be more specific, the most precious gift of all. In Sandrock, Martel's Oasis is pretty much our only reliable source of natural water. We also get some water from the other city-states, but it's expensive. So we need to be really careful and smart about how we divvy it out. Might I bring your attention to the humble little fence propped up around the oasis? It's the town's friendly way of saying, Don't take water out of the oasis all willy-nilly, or cut down the trees for that matter. If you're short on water in your workshop, might I recommend checking the plants around your workshop for fresh morning dew, or just come on down to the water tower overlooking the oasis. I'm pretty sure builder machines won't run without water in their water tank. So I guess that means we'll be seeing a lot of each other in the future. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. See you at the water tower, new pal.
builder in Porsche that says commissions, commissions, the more the better, every single day. I wonder if it's true. Catch you later. Hey, Builder, what are you doing so far from your workshop? It ain't safe here. For some darn reason, these lizard folk have been poking into our territory as of late, spray painting their names all over things, picking at structures all over. I've heard they even messing with our bridge here. They call themselves the Gigglers. And them acting all emboldened like couldn't have come at a worse time. Light knows we've got enough to worry about with Logan and his gang out prowling around. Well, be warned. Best be on your way away from here. Ruins are cleared out by the Silver Corps before they're open for diving. If you ever discover any unexplored ruins, you gotta let us know. Let's just say, Curiosity has killed his fair share of cats around these parts. Catch you later. Hey there. Reckon you got my letter? How's Mason's old shack treating you? If it's not quite what you were expecting, might be high time to start upgrading. If you've got the goals and the materials, I can set you up with a new building for your workshop or upgrade something you've already got. Just take a look at that catalog over there on my desk to see what we're working with. Oh, also, I've always got plenty of materials stored around here. If you ever want to trade some of yours for mine, just check out the Construction Junction shop. That's the gist of it. Here's to a happier home. Don't forget to stop into Construction Junction sometime. After you let me add some upgrades to your workshop, you'll wonder how you lived without them. Catch you later.
Hey there, Builder. Did you get my letter? Why don't we have a chat over some food and drinks? It won't take too long. I've been meaning to catch up with you since you moved in. But I guess you and me, Anne, have been busy with all that's been going on of late. <laughs> As a small token of my appreciation, I'd like to offer you some food and drinks on the house. To a newcomer, sand rock can be a bit overwhelming. But lucky for you, this old barkeep has been around for just a hair longer than a pan bat's age. Uh, perhaps I can shed some light on any subjects you're still unfamiliar with. What would you like to know about? Ah, the civil core here are that thin, dusty line that stands between us and the many threats crawling throughout the Ufala desert. But they only have two core members here, uh, plus <laughs> a cat. I'm amazed that they're able to keep up with all the security demand. Of course, Pen from the church helps out as well. Now the one running the civil core is a man named Justice. He and I go way back. He's one of the toughest guys around Sandrock these days. But back when we were kids, he was afraid of his own shadow. <laughs> oh boy, how times do change. He's a great guy. And his partner, Unsure, is also very reliable. If you ever run into trouble, you can surely count on them to help you out. What would you like to know about? The Church of Light is all about preserving the sense of community and getting rid of dangerous Age of Corruption technology. But the interesting thing about our chapter is that Matilda is extremely lenient when it comes to relics and old tech. In Sandrock, we're allowed to hold on to some pretty mean stuff. Sometimes they'll even let relic weapons slide. And it's a good thing, too. Uh, life would be much harder out here if we didn't have the means to defend ourselves. Our chapter is pretty unique in that way. Although I heard some chapters near the peripheries take similar stances. The church members are always proactive about helping people in and around Sandrock. Especially the old folk and the youngins. They've gotten so organized that, as a matter of fact, they actually help handle a lot of administrative type stuff in town. Uh, we'd be up a creek without them. Uh, well, <laughs> creeks have water, don't they? What would you like to know about? Let's see, where to begin? We're a small town, so pretty much everybody knows everybody else. There's Vivi the tailor, Heidi the architect and engineer, Cooper, Mabel, and Elsie down at the ranch, Katori and her game center, Dr. Fang and his bird. There's also Arvio and Amira, the sibling duo from Barnarok who moved here not that long ago. Arvio is young, but he runs the general store pretty nicely, all things considered. Amira makes ceramics that are top notch. I think she's even starting to gain some recognition from people outside of Sandrock. You can definitely tell Amira is the older sister. She's always the one covering for her brother whenever his youth gets the better of him. What's also amazing is that she never lets her skills get to her head. She's very down to earth and she... Uh, sorry, maybe I'm talking too much. <laughs> really, this town is full of nice people. If there's someone you want to get to know better, ask them to hang out. Make time out of your day to go see them. <laughs> and hey, who doesn't like a nice gift now? I'm sure you'll have plenty of friends in no time. What would you like to know about? Ah, yes. There is an infamous bandit around here named Logan. He used to be a citizen of our town as well. One day he just went crazy and blew up a building. I guess being out here in the desert makes some people lose their minds. Other than that, you have to watch out for some dangerous animals roaming the wilds. <laughs> like the Geeglers. They're mutated lizards who seem bent on causing us trouble for some reason. Oh, and how could I forget? <laughs> the sandstorms. Our mayor is out in the desert right now, trying to stop the winds from blowing sand over what little greenery we have left. You know, it wasn't always like this. A lot of people have left, and I can't really blame them. Sand Rock might not be the best place for everybody, but there are still people who love this town. And we'll all be sticking around, for better or for worse. What would you like to know about? 
<laughs> yep, uh, don't let me talk your ear off. Some things you've just got to experience to understand. Don't worry too much. You'll fit right in. Hey, I've been doing all this talking, and I haven't had a bite to eat yet. Uh, maybe you should share your tales as well. Oh, today was nice. We gotta do this more often. In any case, let me hit you with a couple takeaway dishes for later. <laughs> Builders can't go hungry, you know. Stop in at the Blue Moon anytime you're out of energy and need a picker-upper. Don't know what to order? Get the special of the day. That's right, we've got a discount on something new every day. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, I didn't mean to turn this into an ad spot for the saloon. I'm sure you're busy learning the ropes around here. I'd better get back to it, too. I uh, hope to see you again soon. Drop by my saloon sometime and listen to my stories. I know all about this town and its history. Hey, see you around. What do you want? Ah, uh, you must be looking for the doctor. We have something for you. Or a new person. Uh, no danger at all. Thank it, you, Jack. Tell us what happens. Should be safe. Should be. Should be. X is not here. Hey there, you got something for me? Well, I'll be darned. This relic fragment, it's exactly the one I was looking for. I can't believe it. Look, look, I have the other fragments right here. Why don't you go over to the restoration machine in my museum and reconstruct this item? Come back when you're done. Like to read? I suggest you read Musa's Success is Preparation plus Opportunity. I was really inspired by it. I guess he's not the richest person for nothing. Now that's a nice looking relic. I'm gonna display it in my museum. Here's something for your hard work. Keep your eye out for more relic pieces in the future. Anytime you collect a full set, you can use the restoration machine to reconstruct a relic. Then you can put them on display in the museum. And, I might add, donors will be rewarded handsomely.
Um. <laughs> Hello. Aha. <laughs> hmm. Have a good day.
I gotta tell you, those two lifts you made are running like a dream. Looks like Yan finally did something right higher in the two of you. Maybe we don't have to move out of Sand Rock after all. Well, now me and my boys can finally get back into the abandoned ruins and get to work. But we're still way behind on our mining quota. Say, that gives me an idea. You two like diving, don't you? Sure we do. Ruin diving is what builders do best. Well, that and building. I think I got another way we can both help each other out. You want to do some digging? Alright, so here's the deal. The abandoned ruins around here are the pride and joy of Eufala Salvage. They hold precious resources and relics from the old world. They're open to anybody who has the same pass you use to access our salvage yard. Pass fees pay for folks like you to rent a jetpack in case you dig yourself in too deep, and a scanner for finding relics easier. Also, sometimes we gotta hire the Civil Corps to go through from time to time to make sure we don't have any, uh, incidents. You builders can use your pick hammers to dig tunnels through the ruins, and also to break up ores and valuables that you can take back to your workshop to make all kinds of cool stuff. Anything's fine as keepers down there, but uh, I got a little proposition for you. Since the lift's been out of commission for so long, me and my boys are gonna have to break our backs to make up for lost time. If you wanna sell me some of the ores you find in the next couple of days, I'd pay you top goals. Just something to consider. Well, you enjoy yourselves. Don't mind anything I wouldn't mind. Oh, it's mining time. I heard there's this builder in Porsche that says, See ya. Well...
on! Good! God! Heat the pan, mix in cream with salt, add the eggs, fry for three minutes and 30 seconds. I'm doing everything straight out of the book. Why are my omelets so disliked? Bye. Thanks, Builder. <laughs> I guess you found it all right down there. <laughs> this little bit will go a long way. There's something for your troubles. Like I said, top goals. You're the new builder, yes? You're in my way.
It's me! I'm the brains! He's the bird! Have needs? Query X. Ask me! <laughs> Have needs? Query X. <laughs> Hey, you really came through. You're a lifesaver. I'll be posting more supply requests on the commission board in the future, so watch for those. Oh, and uh, heads up, if you catch any more sandfish in the future, you can always give some to Elsie. She loves sandfishing. I'm sure she'd enjoy someone to share the hobby with. You know, the Blue Moon used to be called Sandrock Hotel. It was created by the founder of Sandrock, Mardo. Just some trivia for you. So long, partner.
Well, this is a surprise. I predicted the Civil Corps would show up any minute now to rescue me, but I didn't expect them to send some random individual. Nevertheless, you are here now. Proceed with your extraction plan. I won't complain. You do have a plan, right? Wait, wait. By the look on your face, perhaps you're not a rescuer, but a fellow prisoner instead. Oh. Okay, well, you can join the club and sit over there while we wait for the proper authority to appear. Hold on. I recognize you. You're the new builder. Hmm. Perhaps we don't have to wait. With my intellect and your logistical aptitude, there may yet be new possibilities to extricate ourselves from this predicament. Let's look around this area to see if there's anything we can use to escape, relics or otherwise. I fell into this area seeking relics from my laboratory. Upon concluding the indisputable nature of my confinement, I decided to take a nap. According to my calculations, I've been down here somewhere between two hours and two days. Hmm, perhaps if this machine were repurposed somewhat, it could be fitted with an engine. With enough propulsion, we could likely fly out through that hole in the ceiling. However, any minor miscalculation in trajectory might cause us to die, which would be suboptimal. Let's put this one down as plan Z. Or perhaps just use your pick hammer to break it down into scrap. I'll leave it to your discretion. Wood, stone, metal, scraps. These things are useful to you, are they not, Builder? I must admit, I find using such basic components to solve our predicaments somewhat inelegant. Regardless, Builder, I recommend you collect these materials. They may prove useful in our journey to the service. This machine reminds me of something very obscure. Something you never would have heard of. In certain old world literature, it was imagined that time travel might one day be possible. If only I could go back in time and warn myself not to travel into this tunnel. I could also tell my past self that you'd be falling down here around this time and then sent myself to rescue you, solving this entire ordeal. That is, if my past self wasn't too busy right now. Wishful thinking, I'm afraid. Also, the fact that I did not meet myself before falling in here means that I do not uncover the secrets of time travel on this particular timeline. Or is there a reason I would have allowed this to happen? In any case, this machine would probably do us better as scrap. Can you break it down with your pick hammer? Looking up towards the skies for answers. That's entirely the reason I'm in this predicament in the first place. Well, Builder, our objective is rather straightforward, is it not? Exit through that gap above. Indeed, a mere difference in altitude has managed to contain us here. Mm, pay me no mind, Builder. Complaining won't improve our situation. I suggest we continue looking around. Using the environment to bridge the gap between us and that opening up there. Brilliant! In any case, let's save our celebrations for the service. After you, Builder.
finally! How serendipitous that you were the next to fall into that cavern! Science! According to Civil Corps survey reports, I deduce the likelihood of uncovering a usable equatorial mount in these rooms to be upwards of 99.9%. Unfortunately, despite my in-depth and thoroughly digestible explanation, none of the Civil Corps members were able to comprehend the significance of an equatorial mount. Thusly, it became imperative that I come here myself, and hence, our untimely meeting. My venture proved not only unfruitful, but also has caused a delay in my research. I must be heading back to the research center to make up for lost time. Perhaps I'll hire someone to continue to search for me. Hmm. Render unto builders the things that are builders. Indeed, you would be much more suited to the task. Surely you'll be able to find pieces of an equatorial mount in the abandoned runes, likely on a lower level. Once you've found the pieces by diving in the runes, you can use the restoration machine at Katori's museum to make it whole again. Please bring it to me at that point, and not before. Goodbye. Remember, I'm not interested in simply fragments of an old relic. I want the whole device in one piece, ideally working. The Civil Corps keep bringing me rubbish. Once they even confused an actuator for a transistor. Can you believe that?
Crane lift is amazing. When I stand on it, it doesn't sway at all. It's just like standing on flat ground. My name is Venti, and I work at the salvaging company. I guess you could say it's my home, too. The moment I saw you, I felt a sense of familiarity. Let's be good friends. Since we're already good friends, I must give you special treatment. For example, next time you come to dig for scrap in our salvaging company's scrapyard, there won't be any charge! <laughs> well, if you want to dig for scrap next time and didn't buy a pass, just come find me! I'll take you in. Just don't tell the other builders. It can get really hot in Sandrock. Fortunately, our boss is considerate and always lets us rest when we need to. Do you want to go to our company's scrapyard? I'll take you there, okay? For free! Okay then, come find me when you've made up your mind.
finish that commission, huh? Well, what do you know? Looks like I'm an even better supervisor than I thought. <laughs> needs quit <laughs> Thank you. 
Cody! You heard about the bandits, right? I can't help but think that Logan's really cool. That sidekick of his is really awesome as well. I want to ride around like them, without a care in the world. Bye! Hey there! Uh -huh. So long, partner! Greetings, skinny arms. No doubt you've noticed the countless granules of sand being mercilessly tossed about. This is what we in the business call a sand store. I'm here to inform you, as the protector of Sandrock, that you have no need to be afraid. We do recommend staying indoors until the sandstorm subsides, but in case you must go outside, the church has this free set of sand gear for you. Isn't it nice? These will help you move around in the sandstorm, but they sure is light won't help you much against the ravenous beasts that come out during the storms. And in case you're wondering why I am not wearing any sand gear, uh, to an experienced hero such as myself, uh, these raging sands are but a gentle massage on my chiseled jawline. Well, good chap, skinny arms. Try to remember everything I just said. I'd rather not repeat myself. I saw a crazy big wild yakmo wandering around on the way here, so I'm about to clean it up in a minute. Enjoy your gear!
cloudy. Sandstorms like this can ravage architecture. Unless, of course, it's properly designed. <laughs> hmm.
Want to go to our company scrapyard? I'll take you there, okay? For free! Okay then, go.
Thank you. Mm-hmm.
Hiya. Are you okay? The sandstorm last night was terrifying. I didn't sleep a wink. How are you holding up? Really? Wow, you must be super brave. Hopefully I'll handle it better next time. Anyway, I was walking around town earlier, looking at the damage, and ran into Matilda. She wants us to go check out that stage outside of the Blue Moon right now, so I came to get you. Come on, she's waiting. My beautiful stage. Now, now, at least no one was hurt. We can always rebuild. Say, speak of the devil, if it isn't our resident builders here to save the day. We are in a real jam here. We wanted to do a stage performance for Mason's going away ceremony, but now the plan's in shambles. Would you two be dears and find a way to fix this thing up? I don't doubt you'll be up to your eyeballs and other commissions, but whenever the stage is fixed, we can reschedule that ceremony. So I'm afraid I must insist on an official town request of the highest priority. Heidi, dear, can you draw up a new design? 
I was sort of expecting the stage to collapse one of these days. So I already designed a new one. Here's the diagram builders. Oh my, that's great. Why don't you builders decide on which part you want to do? You pick first. I'm fine with either. Alright, I'll take care of the other one then. Let's see, what have we got here? Ah, I don't have the machines I'll need. I better get to Cheese Research Center on the double and get myself a grinder and a processor. All right, you two. Let me know how it goes. Good luck, and thanks again. By the way, if you guys need it, you can go ahead and salvage this here stage. Stagey would have wanted it that way. Hey, how's it going? Getting used to the desert heat? I've been trying to think of ways to fit in and make new friends around here, and I came up with a plan. It involves you too. So, I've noticed that there's plenty of stuff around town that needs fixing. I guess people gave up on commissioning those things for some reason? Anyway, we could prepare some materials, then roll through town and fix everything we see. Seek and repair. What do you say? Nice. The San Rockians? San Rockers? Whatever, they're going to appreciate this a lot. Here's a list of materials you can get together. When you're finished, come back to me and we can start our builder cruise. Hey, how's it going? Say, you know, I've heard the tales. Being a builder is no picnic. If you're ever having trouble, don't be afraid to ask for help, you hear? How's your wallet doing since you got here, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> hey, I hear you. Here, take my tip jar for the day. Just a little something to get you back on your feet. No strings attached. Are you sure? Well, offer's on the table. Howdy. Oh boy. Hmm. Ah, oh, jeez. Hmm.
Good day to you, Builder. I was just looking for you. I came by to ask you to fill out a survey. It's something the church gives to all newcomers. Very standard procedure. Care to take a moment to fill it out? Wonderful! First question. How often do you follow the rules? Mm-hmm, I see. What are your opinions on bandits? Mm-hmm, and finally, what are your feelings towards water wasting? All right then, let me just run the numbers here and, uh, hmm. Well, the bad news is, you're not quite ideal Sandrock Citizen material, but the good news is, you have lots of room for improvement, and you can start improving right this very minute. So, the short of it is, there's some sand on the plants and flowers in our temple garden. If you could go clean that up for us, that'd be great. Well, thanks in advance, and may the light follow you always. Oh, by the way, you'll need a feather duster to clean up the plants. You do have a feather duster, don't you? They're all the rage these days. I just know you're going to do a great job cleaning up the garden. So if you'll just move a few decimeters to your left, I think you'll find the pathway to the commission board to have become quite clear, allowing a way for me to snag a commission. Ha! No deal. You can't fool me with your mind games, Mian. Okay, I give up. Look at yourself. How long has it been since you finished that big elevator thing? And you're already back in here. At it again! You need to admit that you have a problem, Mian. You're a workaholic! I wouldn't go that far. I mean, I didn't have anything going on today. What else would I do if I didn't pick up a commission? A whole heck of a lot else! I'ma tell ya. Oh shucks, another one of you! Alright, that's it. This is an intervention. I'm taking the two of you out to do something fun. No commissions allowed. Um, I guess... It wouldn't kill me to take one day off. And I am pretty tired. Hey there! I guess we're going somewhere? Wanna join us? Of course you're joining us! As I was saying, what you two need is to relax. And what better way to relax than a rigorous and debilitating day of mountain climbing and yakmel wrangling? Uh, hey, Elle. That does sound really relaxing, but I... stubbed my toe this morning. Better stay off the mountains for today! <laughs> so... Why don't we just stop into the Golden Goose Gaming Center for a little bit instead? Well, huh? G games oh, But that's kid stuff! Cool, mature, adult-type folk like us spend our leisure time running free on the wild... frontier... and... Oh, fine. I guess if y'all really want to, we can go to the Game Center. But I'm not playing any y'all's kid games, all right? I'm just there to keep you company. And make sure you don't relapse. Woohoo! Now let's hurry on over. We'll see you there. Yeehaw!
were just about to go in. Ready to get your game on? No worries, we'll wait. Get your game on? Well, here we are. Same old game center. Yawn, y'all can pick a game to play. I'll watch. I think I've seen folks on these games before. On some, two people can play at the same time. I guess the point is to see who the better gamer is. Whew, I'm falling asleep listening to myself explain this. Guess it runs in the family. Don't mind her. How about Whack-A-Mole? Let's try that one first. by myself, but it's even more fun with two people. Eh? Where'd Elsie go? Could she have gone inside? Let's check. Hey, there you are. Yeehaw! Get wrecked, yo scrub! What the? I lost? Let's go get you, dumb machine! L, I thought you didn't want to play. Huh? What? Neon? Bug off! Y'all are bad luck! Oh, dang! I'm out of goals. Neon, how come you never told me how great games are? My heart's pounding! My mind is racing! I've never felt so alive! I... Hmm. Dang! All this pro gaming has worked me up an appetite. Onward, posse! Let's head on over to the blue moon to rustle up some grub! Yeah, come on, let's go! Want a cracker? Do you want a cracker? Soon. No, no. <laughs> hey there, ready to do some diving? The show must go on, but it sure isn't going anywhere until the two of us get what we need to build that stage. Say, if you don't mind me asking, how deep have you dived into the abandoned ruins? Yeah, you know, the abandoned ruins isn't just a single layer. If you follow your scanner, you can find deeper areas within the ruins. 
that's where all the good stuff is, since they're less disturbed by other divers. Well, all I know for now is that we're going to have to go pretty deep for this commission. Hope you brought some snacks. <laughs> Maybe see you inside? Later!
This one's on me, cowpokes. Go ahead, help yourself. But don't just go and order all the most expensive stuff on the menu. I only work part-time for my parents. Y'all, hold tight. While you're ordering, I'm gonna go grab a surprise. Don't worry about me, I'll be right back. A surprise? Huh? I wonder what on earth she could be planning. Oh well, let's eat. Ooh, I never know what to eat. There's so many choices. Uh... Ta-da! I hope y'all left room in your stomachs for some... surprise. Don't be shy. Go ahead and open it up. Gosh, Elsie! You really had a gift all ready for us? You shouldn't have. Will you do the honors? Y'all should have seen the look on y'all's faces. <laughs> you were all like, ah. Elsie! What? I told you I was gonna surprise you. Was I fibbing? I dare y'all to come up with a more interesting gift to give me. I'll be waiting for ya. Well, until then, I bid y'all adieu. That was fun. Until we meet again. See ya! See ya. What did you think of Elsie's surprise? Did it frighten you? <laughs> Nerves of steel, huh? I can't stand jump scares like that. Elsie gets me almost every time with her crazy pranks. Well, it was nice to get out today anyway. If you get time, you should take your other friends out too. Maybe warm them up with a few gifts if they don't accept your invitation at first? I think you'll find most people to be more relaxing around. Elsie can be a bit... lively. Well, I better get back to the workshop. Catch you later. It was fun today.
Take it easy. Hello. Oh, uh, hey. Sorry about the whole spontaneous loan thing. I didn't mean to impose. Just wanted to help. That's that's all. Glad to hear it. Uh. Hey, see you around.
Goodbye.
see you around. How's it going? Mm -hmm. See ya! Well done! If plants could talk, I'm sure they'd say, Thank you! As no good deed should go without a reward, here, take this! See you later!
Remember, I'm not interested in simply fragments of an old relic. I want the whole device in one piece, ideal... Thank you.
Catch you later. Hello. Hmm. See you. What if we get attacked? Or worse, lose our jobs? Hello. Uh huh. Ain't that the truth? Hmm. I guess I could be more generous. That's all well and good in Pastors theory. Pastors, right? You know. Thank you. This sermon is so much different than in Tall Sky. Ah. Ma, can I go? Hey there. Hmm. So long, partner. Hmm. Be seeing ya. Yeah.
anything other than the super stud. Most people aren't used to the smell of Yakmel milk when they first get to Sandrock. Not me, though. I drink a glass every morning.
So long, partner. Hello. to Fang's Clinic. One per customer. No cotton. No cotton. Ah, hey there. Mm-hmm. Ah, so long, partner.
you want to go to our company scrapyard? I'll take you there, okay? For free! All right then, you come to the entrance of the scrapyard at 11 o'clock tonight, and I'll take you in. Don't forget, okay? Hey, partner. Ready to get your ride on? Yeehaw! Let's go talk to my pa at the ranch. He can lend you a horse for the day. I'll be right behind you. Hey, pa! I brought the new builder. I want to teach him to ride. Bring out the finest stallion we got. 
on the house. Well, now, my little butter muffin, sweetie pie, I'd love to help out you and your friend here, but you know we don't lend out no horses for free. Ah. Don't you paw me, little missy. Now, you for a fact know that... Ah. Well, I guess it couldn't hurt just this one time. careful now. Uh, these horses, they can smell fear. We'll be fine. Thanks, Pa. Love you, bye. Let's get. Giddy up! Now the main trick is just posture. Now the main trick is just posture. Don't jerk on the reins. Align your heels and don't slouch. Keep your back and shoulders straight. Looks like you're getting the hang of it, partner. Why don't you try and keep up with me for a bit? Don't worry, I'll go easy on you. Keep your back and shoulders straight. Now the main trick is just posture. Keep your back and shoulders straight. Don't jerk on the reins. Now the main trick is just posture. Now the main trick is just posture. <laughs> Having a bit of trouble back there, partner? Shucks, don't you worry now. You'll get the hang of it in no time at all. You can rent a horse from a pot anytime you like. But what you really ought to do is head over to Construction Junction and get yourself a stable added to your homestead so you can keep a horse of your own. That'll make you a real yak hand. Uh, just a horse owner, if you don't prefer that nomenclature. I had a lot of fun with you today. I'll see you around. Keep on riding! is quite the charmer. You do well to remember that. Have you heard his sunrising compliment yet? Thanks.
Job. I've got mine as well. Let's just take a good rest today and start our special builder crew job tomorrow. Don't worry, I'll come find you in the morning.
here. I've been waiting for you for a while now. There's no one else here. Faye and the others have all gone home. All the salvage inside belongs to us. Let's go then. Then let's start digging. For some reason, I feel even more motivated than when I'm working my normal job. And while we're digging, we can chat and talk to each other. I heard that Faye's dream is to open a board game company. That's really great. Sand Rock is really nice. It's much better than my hometown. Rock Day will definitely Sand Rock is really nice. It's much better than my hometown. Rock Day will definitely Digging can really be refreshing. Woo. Digging can really be refreshing. Not everybody knows it. Phew. Let me see. We've basically broken down all the scrap that was brought up here during the day. We're amazing. By the way, these are the things I salvaged. Take them all. If you want to come again next time, just look for me. I've been digging all night and my clothes are wet, so I need to go back and take a hot bath and change into clean clothes. Well then, until next time, it was really fun to dig up junk together with you today. Bye-bye. Howdy, partner. That's Sandrock needs for hello. Hope you got plenty of rest. I've prepared the route for our builder crews. First stop, the train station. You might have noticed that the floorboards on the platform there are all full of potholes. Well, that ends today. Let's go. Here we are. Let's fix these holes.
Hello. the next target, the fence surrounding Martel's oasis.
All right, here we are. Now, is it just me, or is this fence just a little lacking in the looking department? No offense. <laughs> no offense to our friend here, the fence, get it? <clears throat> Let's fix up the wonky looking parts and then move on.
Here. Since we're both finished, let's put the stage back in business. Ta-da! <laughs> this looks great! You know what? It feels so nice to work with a really good builder like you. Can't wait for more projects! Well, I guess we're done. All that's left to do is inform our good minister Matilda of our good deed. Anyway, do you mind doing the honors and telling her we finished? I've gotten really behind on my commissions. Thanks! Built the stage? Well, aren't you two just precious? <laughs> that was quick. On behalf of everyone in Sandrock who enjoys a good hoedown, thank you very much for your service. Since Mason's in a hurry to get out of town, let's just hold his farewell party tomorrow morning. I'm sure I can get everyone together, even on such short notice. You won't miss it, right? That's grand. See you tomorrow, then.
like you. Remember, I'm not interested in simply fragments of an old relic. How you doing? Mm -hmm. See ya.
make a pretty good team, huh? We got that done in a flash. All right, on to our next mission. Beach installation in Town Square. You see, one day, I noticed Vivi walking all over town, looking kind of drained. But it suddenly hit me. There's nowhere to sit down anywhere in the center of town. Thus, benches. Back in school, we learned all about how Sandrock was built on a big old world metropolis. Sadly, due to the current state of affairs, not many people are out here looking for archaeological finds anymore. So long, partner! This looks like a pretty good spot. Let's see who can build up a bench faster. Ready? Go! Woo! Nice! But the real winners are the tired, the weary, the huddle masses yearning to sit freely. Now they have these super cool benches to rest on. also thinking we should add some shrubbery. Maybe some flowers. But this soil is just so barren. Uh, well that's neither here nor there. We did good today. Here, a little something as a token of my appreciation. You didn't have to join me on this thing, but I'm glad you did. Let's do it again sometime. Howdy. When you're out here in the desert, Builder, do sweat all the little details. You never know what could go wrong. Catch you later.
Legend has it that Martle had this giant duck as her friend. There have to be some clues around somewhere if the tale is true, right? A giant duck doesn't just vanish. See ya! Tried the sand rolls locals make during the Day of Memories? I won't be friends with anyone who doesn't like them. Wow, thank you so much! <laughs> 